Up to this point, we've only been looking at traditional views. But there's another way of looking at your views with what is called knock view mode. Knock views are basically a stripped down view designed to be displayed up on a wall mounted monitor someplace. If you take a look at the view editor, there's a simple checkbox to enable knock view mode. But rather than turn on knock view here, we want to take a look at another knock view we've already built. Go into settings, views, and created knock views. This shows me a list of all my views that have knock view mode enabled. I'll choose my events and alerts view and click edit. The first thing you'll notice here is that there's no difference between this view and any other in the view editor, except that knock view mode is enabled. And this view can be previewed as either a knock view or a traditional view. The look of knock views is different than traditional views, obviously, but in terms of how they function, they're not all that different. But one area where they are very different is in how they handle subviews. Here, you'll notice that the left navigation is enabled and that there are three tabs created. In a traditional view, when you click on Preview, you're going to see tabs on the left-hand side of the screen, and they can be used for navigation. But remember, knock view modes aren't really designed to be interacted with, so instead of expecting a user to click on a tab, knock view mode will continuously cycle through the tabs. If your view has left navigation enabled, you'll see a timer just below knock view mode. Here you can set your views to rotate at whatever interval you'd like. Just to show you how this will work, let me set the interval to 5 seconds. Now, we want to see how the knock view looks, so click on Done and go to Knock. So let's take a look at what we've got. First, you'll notice that the menu bars up at the top are missing, as is the notification bar. Knock views are designed to have a very clean look, and they're not really designed to be interacted with. Although there are no menus at the top of the view, there is a new navigation tool in the upper right corner. If you click the drop down, you have four options. Customize Page takes you back to the view editor. Customize Knock View logo, of course, lets you change the logo at the top of the page. This actually takes you into Web Console settings in the Settings menu. Enable Drag and Drop allows you to resize your columns and reposition your resources. This is the same drag and drop functionality you have in a traditional view mode. There's nothing different here. It's just that in a knock view, this capability is disabled by default. If I click on Exit Knock Mode, it will toggle between knock view and traditional view mode. Notice the left navigation bar doesn't show up on the left of the view. It's gone. But the knock view is cycling through each of the subviews at five second intervals. And up at the top of the view, there's now a series of dots that show how many subviews the view contains and where I am in the view rotation. You can use a knock view as a regular view, and you might if you're working with multiple monitors and you keep the web console up on one of the monitors all the time. In that case, you might want to toggle between subviews manually rather than having them rotate. You can do that by clicking the drop down in the corner and choosing Enable Drag and Drop Pause. That stops the views from rotating, and then you can navigate by clicking on the dots. You can also use the dots for navigation while view rotation is enabled, but of course it's going to keep cycling views on you. Knock view mode gives you one more way to display your information. You can turn any view into a knock view by enabling knock view mode in the view editor. You can interact with a knock view like you would any other view, but remember they're mostly designed to be left to run on their own. So that means whatever you want the knock view to show needs to be able to fit on screen. You'll want to pay careful attention when you set up the knock view to your resource placement and how large those resources are. If you have resources that are running off the bottom of the page, you may need to think about choosing a different resource or changing the layout on the way you're displaying the information.